Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about five signs that you shouldn't end a relationship because of rough patches. And so if this is your first time to our channel, make sure that you go and hit the subscribe button to get more videos on how to have the relationship you've always wanted. If you're in a relationship right now and you're not really sure whether you should end it, maybe there's a question about it, maybe you guys have had some uh, rough times, I'm going to give you five signs that maybe it's not quite time to give up on your relationship yet and maybe you should fight for it and um, you know try to fix what's going on with it. So sign number one is that even though uh, maybe you guys have some arguments and some rough times, uh, you really still like who you have become through the relationship and who you are because of the relationship. And so, um, you know, a lot of times what happens, one of the signs that you know you should break up is that uh, you kind of have become somebody you don't want to become in the relationship. And so if you like who you've who you've become and who you are uh, in the relationship with him, um, you know, that's a good sign that maybe uh, maybe it might still be something that you want to think about uh, to stay in the relationship. So sign number two is that you're still emotionally attracted to him after however long you guys have been in the relationship together. And so, um, you know, sexual attraction uh, can come and go. Um, but if uh, you are still like have this strong emotional uh, draw to him, uh, you might even call it love is still there, um, then maybe, you know, maybe it's still time to uh, take a look at things and, and uh, think about how to fix them. Sign number three is that maybe there's just one thing that you need to fix in the relationship and if you could fix that the relationship would still be strong and so um you know is your if your relationship is a strong relationship minus this one little thing that might be a behavioral thing or might be an argument problem or might be just something that you're going through that might be uh, annoying or uh, kind of uh frictional, um, it, it might still not be time to give up on the relationship yet. You know, one, one of the uh, big challenges that a lot of people run into is that somewhere along the line in their life, they got this fantasy that relationships are supposed to be like this smooth ride. And um, what they find is that, uh, you know, I've, I've heard people say this kind of stuff all the time. Like you ask them how your relationship going and they're like, oh my God, it's just so perfect and everything's so wonderful and everything's so amazing. And I'm always like, uh, like it sounds like maybe there's something else going on there and uh, you don't have a real relationship or you're probably avoiding something that's going to come and bite you later. Um, and then next thing you know, you know, they're talking about getting a divorce because uh, they had something that came up <laughs> and you're like, OK, you know. Um, and, and so, you know, if if you have like a couple little things that are problems uh, that may have even grown into big things if you haven't addressed them and taken care of them, um, but you still know that the relationship is strong, uh, it, it might not be time to give up on it. It might just be time to... Um, Pull up your big girl panties and go and, uh, you know, address the problem and take care of it. Sign number four is that your friends and family aren't giving up on you guys yet. And so, um, there, and this can be a difficult one because sometimes, you know, uh, people have really bad friends and family. And, um, but, but if your friends and family are definitely like, no, I, thought, I think you guys are a really great couple. I think you guys should stay together. I think you guys should work this out. Um, that might be a good sign that maybe you should listen to them. Um, on the other hand, if they're telling you the opposite, you know, it could go either way. I know a lot of families that are just like, they want people to break up no matter what. Um, 
but I know a lot of families that have uh, really great intentions and um, really great head on their shoulders and sometimes especially older members of the family might have a better idea of what works and what doesn't in relationships. Maybe maybe they don't. Maybe you come from a family like mine where everybody's had broken relationships <laughs> their entire lives. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but that might be a good sign that... Uh, 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 you should stick it out if, if your family is supporting you through it. So sign number five is that you guys still know what's important to each other and you're still, um, you still really, uh, you still really care. You still really care about, um, each other and each other's needs. Um, some, you know, uh, I had a mentor once that said that, uh, you can either be right or you can have a good relationship, but you can't have both. And I think one of the big problems that happens in relationships is, is this thing where it's like you latch onto this idea where you're like, Oh, I gotta be right. You know? And, and, um, I really think it's incredibly unhealthy and, and I don't, I don't get it. You know, I, I think maybe it's it's like some kind of childish thing like, oh, yeah, like I love when I'm right all the time. And it's just uh, I, I don't get it. I mean, really, if, if you're, <laughs> you know, if, if you're in a relationship where um, you guys are so immature that you're clinging on to this idea of righteousness and and letting go of what's really important, um, that could be a big problem. But if if you guys see uh, if you both see what's really important and you're willing to compromise or you're willing to say, um, let go of your ego, um, then that could be a really, uh, <laughs> that, that could be a good sign that you guys are still meant to be together. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.